Kathleen of American College Strategies here on the campus of Occidental College in Los Angeles County, California. So for students coming from all over the world and all over the United States, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get a small liberal arts college of about 2,100 students, but yet you're in a great metropolitan area. And that gives you all the benefits that a city does for internships, for fun activities, and for just exploring a new area. So what I wanted to tell you, what I thought interesting about Oxy is they really reach out to students from all over the world. There's only about 39% of the students here come from California. That means 61 from everywhere else. All different states, all different countries. Additionally, while Oxy took about 45% of their applied students, so when you applied last year, you had a 45% chance of getting into Oxy, they're looking for students with rigorous programs. They're looking for IB and AP within reason. What I found interesting is that term, within reason. They're not wanting you to take seven AP classes senior year. They're looking for you to have a full life in high school and live your high school experience. But challenge yourself and go in depth. What are you interested in? They want to see that in your curriculum. They want to see that in your extracurricular activities. The other thing that I saw in Oxy is they offer merit and need-based scholarship. It is not inexpensive to come here. The package, which includes room and board and tuition, expenses, insurance, it's running $67,000 a year. That's quite a lot. But they do offer merit scholarships. So if you're a strong student and you say, I can't go here, I can't afford to come here, that's a lot of money. A strong student is going to get money to come to Oxy. If you're the kind of student they want, they're going to help you. Oxy really will reach out to you. About 15% of their students get quite a lot of need-based aid. That 15% is first-generation college-bound. So they're students that are new to the college experience and Oxy reaches out to the community. I was talking to some fellow counselors in the area and they said they love Oxy because their need-based student that's first-gen, this is one of the colleges that is always on their list. One of the other things I found interesting is the links that Oxy has with some other schools. There are some joint degree programs. You will get two degrees, one from Oxy and one from Columbia University, one from Oxy and one from Caltech, one from Oxy and one from Keck Graduate Institute. You can get degrees from one of those schools plus Oxy. One of the strong points of Oxy really emphasizes their undergrad research program. They're really, really big on undergrads having an opportunity to research. Additionally, Rhodes Scholar is a very influential, a very prestigious award. Oxy always touts that they have more Rhodes Scholars than the University of Southern California. That's a big feather in Oxy's cap and a real bone of contention with the USC students. So go Oxy, a school of 2100, having more Rhodes Scholars than USC. They have a core program. There's a core program that you must take. It, it includes the Englishes, the social sciences, the sciences, and you have an array of classes you can take within each of those components. And there's a big array of choices you have, but you must complete it. One of them is the freshman seminar that is really, really strong here. And it is a seminar setting, small group sitting with the professor. What Oxy thinks is you have to think critically and think creatively. Love those two, thinking critically as well as creatively. And that really resonated with me that critically thinking you'll get on a lot of campuses, but to think creatively as well, it's obvious that they embrace the left and right side of the brain. And that is nice to see on a college campus. So there's a space for all types of students here at Oxy. I was looking at some of the courses that are available within that core program. After you do your freshman seminar, which is very intensive about writing, it's really working for you to get your writing skills up, to be able to write and research on a college level and ultimately a graduate level. 
but you've got some great courses that I wrote down a list I was researching last night and I was fascinated with some of them. The Struggle for Human Rights in Mexico, California Immigration, Analyzing the History and the Effects on California. This is a great one. This is your brain on art. So they're actually doing scientific experiments of what happens to the brain when people engage in art and view art. That's a course. I know I'd like to take that one. There's a course on gender and pop culture. I want you to remember that all of these types of courses are all linked back to intensive reading and intensive writing. When you're at college, that's what it's about. Reading, reading about the past, reading about the possible future, you helping to create your future, you finding what excites you, what interests you, what path are you going to take going forward. Oxy seems like a great spot for almost all of my students. It's small, it engages you, it allows you to think differently, creatively, it allows you to explore who you are in a small community surrounded by a metropolis. How much better can that get? This is Kathleen at American College Strategies.